This video is called Giving Three Minutes Back to Bernie Nolan. Um, there's that bit in Love Actually where Liam Neeson goes and talks to Sam after he's performed at the show. And his friend, his special friend's about to leave to go to America. And Liam says to him, just tell you love her, you've got nothing to lose. I should have told your mother every day because she was perfect every day. And I've been thinking about this video for months. And I've put it off. Rightly so, I think. I've had the pleasure of meeting Ben Nolan on three separate occasions. Um, backstage after I saw her in Flashdance in Norwich. Once at the Bill Studios, just randomly. And once... The first time I kind of half met her at the Bill Live after I'd sent her flowers and she came and she stood out in the middle of the road and there were quite a few people standing outside. Um, we were all watching um, the car stunts outside because they flipped a car in the live episode of, of the Bill in probably 2005. And, and she came out and she said, Sarah, wherever you are, thank you so much for my flowers. And she stood there for a second, and all the people around me, I, I waved, and all the people around me started screaming, she's here, she's here. And she blew me a kiss into the crowd and said, I'm really sorry, I need to be in hair and makeup. And she waved and she waved as she, as she walked back into, into the studio. And I just remember thinking, she didn't have time for that. She didn't need to do that. And it was lovely. And then... A few years later, when I met her at at the Norwich Theatre Royal, she gave me three minutes of her time. And we talked, and we talked about the bill and about Todd Carty, and she signed my copy of her, of her album, and asked me what my favourite song was on it, and I told her that that obviously Kate's song was beautifully emotional and worked well because it had such personal meaning to her and Steve. And and I thought I needed to give her those three minutes back. And that's not all, really, because every time I went to the Bill Studios and I'd leave her something, I'd leave her a letter or um, a box of Ferrero Rocher or some flowers... And every single time I sent her anything, she would always write to say, sorry I didn't catch you, thank you so much for whatever I'd sent, um, and tell me what was happening next, whether it be the release of her next single, um, this was before, um, all by myself. And then she told me when, you know, kind of about a year ahead, well, probably about nine months ahead of time, like when her album was going to be released and when I could look out for it. And just things that took time out of her life and meant the world <laughs> to a girl growing up, adoring her. <laughs> so there you go, there's your three minutes back. And the time that you've given to me has meant the world. And Erin, I just wanted to know, wanted you to know that while she's just your mum and your wonderful mum, she means the world to a lot of people because of the person she is. And... We just want her to stay strong and stay well for as long as she can and know in her heart that we love her completely and we will tell her every day because she's perfect every day. Love to you all.